It feels like everywhere we're turning right now, people are saying, make a plan to vote, make a plan to vote, but no one's actually telling you how to make a plan to vote. Well, we're going to talk about it today. I'm Emily Bose, and this is Smart Citizen. There are three major things to consider when you are getting ready to vote. Where, when, and who. There's a lot of options for voting right now, and as of the filming of this video, we're getting very close to the election, so some of those options are starting to expire, but you can still take advantage of most of them. Let's talk about where. There are three ways that you can vote this year. Mail-in voting, early voting, and in-person voting on November 3rd. If you live in Virginia Beach and you're watching this right now, you are no longer eligible to request a mail-in ballot for 2020, but if you already requested one, you can obviously still send it in. The deadline for postmarking a ballot in Virginia Beach is November 3rd. So if you're gonna mail it back, it has to be in by November 3rd. You're highly encouraged to send it in earlier than that. And you can also drop it off at any polling location through early voting and then of course on November 3rd. <laughs> not yet watched my video on five fast facts on mail-in voting, go watch that if you're planning to mail-in vote. But one key thing to remember, you do not need to have a witness sign the witness line this year, especially if you don't feel like you can do it safely. It's not required this year for mail-in voting. The second option is early voting. You can early vote in the state of Virginia until October 31st. As of the filming of this video, that's just a couple days away. So make sure you look at all of the locations. And the key thing to remember about early voting is that you can vote at any early voting place. It doesn't matter where you're registered or your, your registered polling place for regular voting. You can go anywhere that's open. It's really important that you figure out where you wanna go and make sure they're open and prepare to wait. Just take a cup of coffee, get ready to meet some of your neighbors and uh, just be prepared to wait a little bit in line. On November 3rd, you can vote on general election day, but you will need to go to your assigned polling place. You can find that by going to your voting website for whatever state you're in. For us, it's vote.virginia.gov and you can find your assigned polling place by looking at check my voter registration. They'll tell you right there. If you are voting in person on November 3rd or early voting, you will need to show an ID. There's a list of eligible ID requirements for Virginia in the link in our Instagram bio, or you can go to your state's uh, voting page. For us, it's vote.virginia.gov. You will need to bring your ID. You guys got some ID? You bet. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, but you do not need to present your voter card. I've had a few questions from people about whether or not they needed to bring that voter card with them. You don't need it. You can just check your registration online and make sure you're going to the right place. I think some locations may have changed with COVID restrictions or things like that. So just make sure your polling place is up to date before you go. So that's where you're voting and when you're voting. Good job, buddy. How was that? Simple, right? So the last thing we need to talk about is who you're voting for. No matter what state you live in, you can access a sample ballot online. We got them in the mail here in Virginia. So go ahead, look through this. We did another video on how to prepare to vote and we walked you in depth through the ballot and how to read it and how to acclimate yourself with what's there. So I would encourage you to watch that if you want more information on the who of voting. Uh, but just take a sample ballot. You can print it out if you want and uh, circle the dots. Uh, go ahead and just fill it out. Do a practice round. Make your decisions before you go so that you are ready, you can move through quickly, and you're not stuck there feeling like you're in a pop quiz when all of a sudden there's amendments or other things on the ballot that you weren't familiar with. What's the plan, Phil? At least I'm trying to do something. One important thing to remember about in-person voting or mail-in voting in Virginia is that you can actually vote for every single race on the ballot, no matter where you live. So for Virginia Beach City Council and School Board, it does not matter what district you live in, you can vote for every race. So it's really important that you familiarize yourself with the ballot and the people on it 
before you go to the polls. We have now done about 18 interviews here at Smart Citizen. We've talked to most of the candidates for city council, school board, and one of the candidates for mayor. We've had long form conversations with most of them. You can listen to the full conversation on Facebook, YouTube, podcast, or you can watch the first 15 minutes on IGTV if you just wanna get a feel for people. Check out Smart Citizen USA on any of those platforms to hear those conversations and get more informed. But no matter what state you live in, you can take that sample ballot and just Google the names of the people and their information will come up and you can at least get a surface level idea of who they are and what they stand for before you go out to the polls. Lastly, you just have to go do it. You need to pick a date, pick a time, make sure you know who you wanna vote for, make sure you know the format you're going for, and just go vote, make your voice heard. It's really important, your vote absolutely matters, and uh, I'm very proud of you for going out and investing in your city and in our nation with your vote. Don't forget, while you're there, get your I Voted sticker, take a picture of yourself with it, and uh, we're gonna have a really fun giveaway coming up with Smart Citizen using your uh, I Voted sticker selfie. So make sure you grab one when you go vote and keep an eye on our page for some really exciting news coming in regard to uh, showing us your sticker. So excited! So excited! That's cool, what? Huh? Share this video with three or four of your friends that really wanna be informed or some of your friends that want to make a plan to go vote but don't know where to start send them this video and let them know that there's some helpful tips here follow smart citizen uh anywhere you listen to podcasts on youtube facebook instagram and twitter at smart citizen usa and leave us a comment and let us know what format you decided to use for voting this year and if there's any voting tips that we forgot make a plan don't forget to check who where and when you're going to vote and go out and do it i'm emily bose and this is smart citizen